Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please press the bell icon for further notifications and like, share and subscribe to the channel. Pakistan just got whitewashed at home by Bangladesh. The funeral of Pakistani cricket was taken out at the National Stadium in Karachi. Before this match, the delusional Pakistani fans were calculating how they needed to win all their remaining matches to qualify for the World Test Championship final. They had taken for granted the victory against Bangladesh, but they were in for a rude awakening. After being humiliated in the recent T20 World Cup, where they lost to USA and got eliminated in the group stage, the Pakistani fans thought they could not see anything worse until today. They were beaten comprehensively in both the tests by Bangladesh. What's more shocking is that they couldn't take 20 Bangladesh wickets in any of the matches. The self-proclaimed number one bowling attack was all in tatters. It's an open secret now that Pakistan has the worst bowling in the World Test Championship history. As a result, they haven't won a test match at home for 1,303 days. They had Bangladesh reeling at 26 for 6 in the first innings. Any other Pakistan line bowling lineup would have bundled them out within 50. But they allowed Bangladesh to reach 262. Litton Das probably played the innings of his life for Bangladesh. His name will be etched in Bangladesh folklore forever. His swas buckling 100 brought the Bangladesh team back into the game. Along with Mehdi Hassan Miraz, the pair put on a partnership of 165 for the 7th wicket. That effort instant courage in the Bangladesh team. Their bowlers were more charged up than ever before. In both the tests, they are bowled in better areas than their Pakistani counterparts. Hassan Mahmood and Nahid Rana ran through the Park 11. Hassan Mahmood bowled the perfect channel and tested the technique of the Pakistani batters, while Nahid Rana scintillated everyone with his raw pace. He was the lone bowler who was consistently bowling in the high 140s. For all of Pakistan's rich history in fast bowling, it was shocking to see the lack of pace and fitness in their fast bowlers. Mir Hamza, Muhammad Ali, Khuram Shahzad all lacked pace and sometimes their balls were not reaching the wicket keeper. Such a fall from grace, the likes of Wasim, Wakar and Shoeb would be disgusted to see the current state of Pakistani affairs. Meanwhile, on the same pitch, Nahid Rana was making the Pakistani players jump on their toes. He hit Rizwan on the head with a bouncer and got Babar out by beating him for pace. It was a forgettable series for Babar Azam. He could not get a score of 50 in any one of the four innings. Once again, when Pakistan was in trouble and needed someone to step up, Babar exited without contributing. He somehow always fails in pressure situations and it is becoming more frequent now. The Pakistanis were bundled out for 172 in the second innings and Bangladesh needed 185 for victory. It was a fairly straightforward chase for Bangladesh as the toothless Pakistan bowling couldn't break through. The Bangladesh top order. Zakir Hussain smashed Mir Hamza and Khuram Sehzad to all parts. On a fifth day pitch, in their home conditions, Pakistan could not make any inroads. Lot was being made of Abrar Ahmed. If you can't take wickets on a fifth day pitch in the subcontinent, then there is nothing much to be said about you. This is the greatest victory in the history of Bangladesh cricket. They hadn't won a series abroad against a top 
nation in their history. But now they have done that. Not only that, they have whitewashed Pakistan at home, which not many teams have managed to. Given the political turmoil in Bangladesh, the performance of their players were most impressive. They deserve to win. It's no secret now that the Pakistani team is nothing but an overwhelmed team filled with a bunch of glorified players who are non-performers on the big stage. They don't have the technique to survive in test cricket. Jason Gillespie must be wondering what he, himself, what he has gotten himself into. Before the test series, there was much talk about the surgery in Pakistani cricket. Shan Masood was appointed as a skipper, but he has failed miserably. It's a political appointment because Shan doesn't deserve a place in the sport. And in all the four innings that he played, he threw his wicket away. He also becomes the first Pakistani captain to be whitewashed at home by Bangladesh. Pakistan have now lost their last five tests at home. And they haven't won anything at home for nearly two years. It's a horrendous record for Pakistan cricket. They are going downwards and it's not getting any better anytime soon. The same bunch of players who are getting selected again and again are failing on the big stage too many times. A big upheaval is needed in Pakistani cricket to bring back their glory days. Let me know in the comment section what you feel and if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.